Hello, this is Chris's computer speaking. Today we are going to make a scene set up with the Autodesk 3DS Max Daylight System. We are going to take a look at the following features, MR Sun and MR Sky Daylight System settings, Nitrous Real-Time Viewport, Exposure Control Settings, and the Quicksilver Hardware Renderer. Now go to Create a Daylight System. Go to the toolbar and select Create, and move to the bottom of the menu and select Systems then choose Daylight System. Then a Daylight System creation pop-up will show. Choose Yes. And you are OK. Now go to the Modifier tab of the Daylight System. Look for the daylight parameters and choose for MR Sun and MR Sky. A Mendel Ray Sky pop-up will show, just choose yes and you are good to go. If you noticed you cannot move or drag the sun object and the viewport to other places. This is because position and the daylight parameters are checked on date, time and location. Go back to the Sunlight Parameters Modifier tab. Check Manual and you are able to move or drag the Sun object on your viewport to get your sunlight more awesome. If you notice the new Nitrous viewport shader just looks like shit. Which is because I forgot to check Realistic Shading. Go select Realistic in the upper left corner of the active viewport, or press Shift plus F3 to get a damn awesome realistic result in your active viewport. Now you have set up your basic daylight system. Take a look in your active viewport, how awesome your model looks. Well, almost awesome. But we still have a problem with the bright desaturated light. To solve that problem we are going to use and set up the exposure control settings, which can be found in the rendering menu. Click exposure control. And the environment and effects menu will show up with the exposure control settings. I made a information balloon which shows my exposure control settings. You can copy my settings of from the information balloon but you have to play with the settings yourself to get the best results of your choice. In the meanwhile Chris created a plain object to use as ground to get rid of the black background in the final render. Now your scene looks really awesome. Enjoy playing with the exposure control settings to get your best results. Now we're going to render the awesome realistic Nitrous viewport with the Quicksilver hardware renderer. To do that you need to go to the rendering menu and choose render setup or press F10. The rendering setup window will show. Then go to the comment tab and scroll down to the bottom and expand the sign renderer. Select the three dots at the right of production and choose Quicksilver hardware renderer and press OK. On this part I am setting up the aspect view of my scene which I like with the show safe frames option checked or press shift plus F as you can see I still have the black background in my viewport which is pretty ugly in the final render I will scale the ground object up till I have a fully gray greenish background to get a perfect render go back to the render setup menu I leave the render elements alone because I do not need the extra render outputs at this time now, head to the Renderer tab. Check Ambient Occlusion, Indirect Illumination and enable Indirect Lightning Shadows and uncheck Depth of Field if you don't have a camera in your scene. Now press Render, wait a few seconds and check your results. As you can see, the new awesome Nitrous viewport gives the same results as in the final render which is totally tits. Now I head back to the render settings and put the lightning and shadows quality on maximum settings. Also known as 16.0x very high quality which gives the best results in the final render. I still recommend to play with the render settings to get your best looking results. Check out the shadows and ambient occlusion intensity fade settings in the lightning and shadows quality menu.
I am going to give the shadows an ambient occlusion intensity fade, a value of 2 and the radius value of 15 of the default settings to show of the results when you change these values. As you can see the new values of the settings gives you a big difference in the new final render. Now we are done. And I hope you understand it and enjoyed the simple daylight system setup video tutorial. You can view my blog, website, Facebook or ask questions on on the links below. Have a nice day and see you next time. Oh. P.S. I hope you like my voice. Because. Chris cannot speak friendly in a microphone. And I do. Fa ha ha.